And yeah, we're just gonna talk about having gratitude and how important that is to attract more beautiful things into your life. <laughs> Hello you guys, what is up? So it is currently six o'clock on Friday and I usually like never start a vlog on a Friday, like this is really weird, but it is Joel's birthday on Sunday. So I thought that might as well like kind of vlog this whole birthday weekend because I feel like exciting things are gonna be happening rather than just me vlogging at home and being boring. Um, so we have two of our friends on the way right now and we're just gonna chill in the room above a garage and just have like a night in, order some food, have some drinks, just have a little fun night in because there's obviously nothing really we, we can do right now Like we can't really go out anywhere So we're just gonna make the best of the situation and obviously we couldn't have too many people over so it's literally only two people <laughs> Yeah, I was literally feeling like crap all day today because it's just that time of the month So I took a nice long bath today and I started watching Sea Spiracy in the bath and it was so interesting I still have to watch like the other half of it, but it's so interesting I'll update you guys like after I finish it all literally got nothing done today because I just felt so sad sick to my stomach like when it's that time of the month and when it's the first day of that time of the month i can't do anything like i'm if i like have a gym appointment or i have something to do that day like i need to cancel everything and stay home like i'm not even joking it's that bad but then it like lingers off throughout the day so finally i'm feeling more normal again also i was looking at my statistics on like who watches my videos and it says like it's a hundred percent girls so we love that we love that and it makes me feel more comfortable i can talk about literally anything i literally look like a bum right now just wearing sweatpants and a tank top and i got my hair in a bun because it's so gross and i got Irresistibly delicious. We're just having a sweatpants party. Excited for your birthday. Very excited. It's Friday, my favorite day of the week because we got new songs and there's a couple that I actually enjoyed this week. So makes my week. I say. <laughs> Exclusively delicious. Mm -mm -mm. It was such a shitty day today. It's been raining. But you guys, spring weather is finally coming because this week is going to be literally getting into the 20s. Not Fahrenheit. We go by Celsius. So 20 is probably like... 70 Fahrenheit maybe <laughs> I don't know but convert it if you want but it's like pretty warm so it's spring weather coming so which makes me so happy so I think that today is gonna be like one of the last shitty days of the week which is good and I think for his actual birthday on Sunday it's gonna be nice so excited about that Joel's because it looks like crap anyways. Hi friends. Hello. Thought I'd make an appearance in this week's oh vlog. And cheers. Oh my like, god. It tastes like pineapple. I thought I'd make an appearance in the in the vlog, the weekly vlog. I've been missed. Yeah, there we go. I like how you literally put your head in it. I wouldn't want my face that close to the camera. I know. For the cheese dips. Well, kind of gross. Hey, get me in the video. Happy <laughs> birthday! That's all I gotta Happy say. Birthday. Well, let me give a little message to the camera. Oh! Put it on top because it's a cheese bread too. Oh my god. Hey guys, what is up? It is currently 10.30 and it is April 11th, so it is Joel's birthday. So I just woke up and I took a shower. My hair's not greasy, it's wet, okay? And I'm about to make him some breakfast before he wakes up because he's still sleeping. I bought these at the store because he loves cinnamon buns and these are just so good. So I have these and I'm also gonna make waffles. So yeah, I'm just gonna bring you guys along for the day. We're going to his parents' house at night to have dinner. And then I hope like I can take him out for like a picnic for like lunch or something, like do something because it's such a beautiful day today. So I'll bring you guys along with whatever we do. Hey guys, what is up? It is currently 12.30 and me and Joel are gonna go to like a lake or something. We just ordered sushi. So we're about to pick that up and we're just gonna go have a little picnic and walk around and enjoy the absolutely beautiful day. Um, I did a little something different with my hair. I put a bandana in it and I think it looks really cute. I'm really proud of the little outfit I put together. This is like my first time putting in like a bandana and it looks so cute. Like it just adds so much to this kind of basic outfit. So yeah, I'm gonna bring you guys along and show you guys our little picnic that we're gonna have. And yeah.
so we just got to the lake slash beach area and it is beautiful here i forgot how beautiful it is here because around where i live there's a lot of like lake areas and this is the nicest one around the whole area and i haven't been here for a long time i do not know why because this is like kind of like the furthest one from my house but it's not even that far we only had to drive like 25 minutes and it is absolutely beautiful here like i can literally cry it's so gorgeous picked up the sushi um it's in the back somewhere uh joel's currently peeing in the outhouse but i picked up the sushi and i got a blanket and we're gonna set that up and have a beautiful picnic by the beautiful water and mountains and trees this is literally breathtaking like what i'm looking at now is breathtaking you guys will see like in the next few clips but wow gotta really be grateful for everything that's around where i live okay update so we're actually gonna stay in the car to eat because it is super windy outside like it's not necessarily cold but since we're by the water it's windy and since it's not the hottest day it's like 13 degrees celsius right now so it's still kind of chilly and the wind is just it's not gonna be very comfortable to eat outside so we just parked our car here and we can like see the view and everything so we're just gonna eat in here and then kind of bundle up and go out and walk around and enjoy but yeah we, we still have like a beautiful view while eating from the car so it's not a big deal all right let's show what we got oh looks so oh my good. god our sushi platter I i'm so is. excited this looks amazing i'm so excited happy birthday okay let's What's eat this? literally the most beautiful place that I've ever been to around my area like not even joking you this is um like amazing and I feel so freaking grateful this is so amazing I wanted to do a little moments with Michaela and we have Joel featured today special guest special guests on my show and yeah we're just gonna talk about having gratitude and how important that is to attract more beautiful things into your life so i guess how i would explain it would be that you know whatever you focus on grows if you go and you see a car that you like and then you start thinking about that car you know you can't deny that you start to see that car a little bit more often or you know or that color of car you know you think about yellow cars you'll start to see yellow cars more often whatever you focus on grows and if you start focusing on the things you're grateful for in life like how beautiful the days are all that good stuff then you're gonna see more of that and me and Michaela, we always give gratitude every morning for the beautiful day that's ahead of us and um mm -hmm. i think it led us to this place here i think that's why it's so important to give gratitude because when you start focusing on the good things good things more good things start way. coming and it's like i've noticed that in my life as soon as i started really recognizing even the smallest things that i was thankful for i was just having way happier of days i was noticing that good things were flowing in constantly and then i was kind of like almost getting rewarded for being grateful for everything and that's what the universe does is when you show gratitude and when you give thanks to even the smallest things in your life like the ability to walk the ability to see having family that loves you having a roof over your head having food on the table and you can give thanks to anything and even once you start noticing the small things like that and really deeply realizing it and being like wow i'm so lucky to have this then you're gonna obtain more happy things and more things that are gonna keep making you grateful and it's just gonna grow and grow and grow and it never stops once you get on the gratitude train it never stops flowing in like your life will become so much happier because you're focusing on the positive only and that is the key to life I found that when you focus on the positive it's almost like there is no negative like I can focus on the negative and I could be like oh I'm not moved out yet. I don't have the funds to be moved out yet. Oh, I can't travel right now because of the pandemic. And it's like, if I only focus on those negative things, then more negative things are gonna keep happening to me because I'm only focused on those negative things. So that's all I'm gonna see. But changing your level of perception and realizing all of the positive things instead of all of the negative things is totally gonna change your mindset. It's gonna change your point of view on everything, trust me. I'm the happiest I've ever been. He was just saying how he's the happiest he's ever been in his life. And it's because of the huge mindset change that we've made recently is to just 
focus on the positive and th the positive will grow and grow and grow and then you'll soon realize like wow my life is so amazing and <laughs> it is amazing it life is what you make it so make it positive and make it amazing and focus on those positive things give gratitude to the little things to the big things to everything you'll attract more abundance and you'll attract more happiness i promise you it is a whole mindset switch that you got to turn on and yes it can be hard to keep that going and to keep that flowing in but what i do is it's as simple as waking up and starting the day off right or if you find yourself in a rut in the middle of the day Pick yourself back up, go online, watch an inspirational YouTube video, look up some inspirational quotes on your phone, listen to an inspirational podcast, read a page of an inspirational book that you love and that will help pick things up for you and it'll help like maintain that wave and that's what I've been doing because I personally like will dip and then I'll almost forget about it and then I'll go back into that bad cycle. But then if you surround yourself with positive things and positive thinking, positive videos, positive books and even just reading a quote a day will make the biggest difference and will help you stay on that wave of positivity. It's really important to stop watching things like the news and you know a lot of things on social media that tend to point out the negative things that are happening in our world and you know it's good to kind of just turn a blind eye to that stuff sometimes and just focus on the things that you're happy for. It's literally what you surround yourself with. If you surround yourself, if you're constantly watching the news, think about it. Have you ever heard one good thing on the news? I, I don't think so because the news focuses on drama, on bad things that are happening, on bad events that are happening. And it's like if you constantly, this is just an example, but like if you're constantly watching the news, that's all that you're gonna take in and that's, that's what you're surrounding yourself with. Therefore, that's what you're gonna start thinking and bringing into action in your life or there's gonna be more negative things. So that's why it's so important to surround yourself with the positive environment, positive things. I think you gotta watch videos that lift you up instead of bring you down. Mm -hmm. Just think of every video like it's giving off an energy and if it's talking about bad stuff it's filling you with bad energy and if it's good stuff it's filling you with good energy. Be more selective with what you watch, give gratitude and more good things will come to you. Yeah and if you guys like have trouble with like being thankful then all it takes is for you to before you go to bed or right when you wake up just get a book and write down or even on your phone write down three things that you're grateful for that day or three good things that happened to you that day and then it'll help train your mind to get into that mindset sometimes i don't like write it down like i barely ever write down what i'm grateful for but i'll like say it in my head instead and it really does train your mind to focus on that those positive things and if you do it if you keep doing it consistently then that'll become your new mindset i promise you so yeah live life live life positively give gratitude give thanks and just recognize the amazing beautiful things happening around you hey you guys so we're back home now and my video that says like why i dropped out of school i'm so excited for this video and it just posted so i hope you guys are loving it and if you haven't watched it you should definitely go and watch that I definitely want to start doing more videos like that and sharing what I've learned. Yeah, I this is literally probably one of my favorite videos ever that I've posted and I'm really excited for people to see it. So go watch it if you haven't already. I schedule all my videos by the way, so it's not like I'm home and then I post it. They're all just kind of like set in advance so that they just post automatically so I never like miss a time. So I'm like, stay as consistent as possible. Um, So that's why I just like posted while we were out. But, oh my gosh, okay. You know this tank top that I'm wearing? I been obsessed with this tank top like it is the most comfy casual or can be like dressed up tank top that i got from garage okay and uh, madison got me um the green one for my birthday and then i'm like holy shit like i'm in love with this tank top it's just so comfortable and so cute so yesterday we were at the mall and mm, this is the original color and then i got it in this tan color and i also got it in this orangey color which i think is so summer and so cute especially when i'm tan this is just gonna look so cute and yes i need to get another one so now i have four um i just got this plain white one okay i'm gonna live in these because i was literally wearing the green one like almost every day like i wore it so much i'm like i just need more like these are so freaking cute and nice um i'll link it down below if i can find the link like if they're still available and i also okay bought like hair skin nail hair skin nails vitamins i think that's what they're called but if you guys didn't notice i did my nails and how cute is this i feel like they're just so spring so i bought my sister a uv lamp for her birthday like a uv light to do your nails and my brother's girlfriend aneko she had like gel polishes she's like oh i'll bring them over so we can do our nails and she brought them over and we did our nails 
and gel is so much better than just like painting them because if I just painted my nails normally they would chip within the hour an hour later they would all be chipped or ruined like I swear I can't do normal nail polish but with the gel they dry so fast and so they're just ready to go right away and it's just so convenient I don't know how I have never done this before and if you go and get gel at the salon it's like 30 to 40 dollars so it's pretty expensive but doing it at home is just so so worth it so yeah my nails aren't ratchet anymore I had acrylics for Christmas so like a few months ago and then I went to go get them them removed at the salon and they completely destroyed my nails while they removed them like my nails were absolutely destroyed like literally destroyed they were disgusting they botched my nails when they removed them so that's why i brought bought like the nail skin hair vitamin so that i can restore my nails the bottom half of my nails are healthy the upper half is still is very unhealthy because of literally the torture that they put them through so i just need them to grow out and get healthy again she's improving bitches okay she's a new version of herself she's gonna be taking care of her nails from now on and they're gonna always look cute mark my word on that i really hope i stick to it yeah like, like there. A little bit when you're on. Higher, up, higher, higher. Put your foot up more. Here. 45 degree angle. Other way. Not that. Not doesn't like have to that. be 45. Yeah. Okay, now push. This way. Yeah. Why is your back foot foot hanging off the board? I don't get how that's wrong. It's wrong. I don't get that. Yeah, there you go. See, that's good. This feels weird. That's how you ride. You're going really fast there. No, this is your way. Okay, well, go your own way. Let's see how much better you are. See? <laughs> yeah, you are faster. Well, learn the other way. Hey, so it is currently 8.20, and I'm just gonna show you guys a quick, easy snack that we have all the time because it's just so easy and so good. And she has 10 minutes to make it, so she can be out of the kitchen so I can cook my food. Anyway, so you take a tortilla, like literally a tortilla wrap, like any wrap you want. It can be whole grain, it can be healthier, it can be bean wraps, it can be any, any type of wraps you want. Take the wrap and then get yourself a pan. This is my pan of choice. It's a crepe pan, so you want a nice pan with a flat, smooth surface that the tortilla will fit right on. Then what you gotta do is you gotta put the pan on and turn it on. Put the heat up and let that cook. Now you want it to be golden brown, okay, on both sides, so you're gonna wanna flip it. Can I sit here? Put you guys back here, so you wanna make it golden brown. This should take approximately two minutes depending on the heat of your pan, the heating time, and when you put it on. All right, it's been about a few minutes. See, you want her to be like this, okay? Not too crispy. You don't want her to be like a Frisbee unless you're going for a chip tortilla. You want this to be a little like, you want this to have a little leeway, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't have it to be soft, too soft, but don't have it to be too hard. It needs to look like this. So you plop that down on a plate, okay? Mm -hmm. Hi. And then what you do is you take butter. We got some vegan butter over here, but you can use any butter of your choice. Take some of that butter and you spread it on the tortilla, like so. Okay, so you can leave her as is just like that. Or what you can do is you can take the everything but the bagel seasoning and top it up to give it that extra little spice. It depends what you're in the mood for because sometimes I just like it with plain butter and that's it. But today we want a little bit of spice so we're gonna add the everything but the bagel seasoning onto it. And you just put enough to get the taste enhancements in your mouth feeling yummy. Just put a little bit of that and then you're good to go. You can, if you want to be fancy, what you can do is get some kitchen knives, I mean kitchen scissors, and cut it into kind of like a shape like pizza slices if you want to be fancy but if you're too lazy you can just eat, eat it and rip it apart that's what I usually do and then this should be your end result bam bam and that is my go-to snack and there's nothing better to eat it makes it taste like an everything bagel so that's why I like this bagel seasoning is good I would say try it without the seasoning first and then if you like that, eat it like that. And if you want extra taste flavor, and then put the seasoning on. But it's really what you're in the mood for. None is better or worse. 